Well, Isaiah, how's this going to put you on the outside linebacker? How you like him? Um, I'm liking it pretty well. We got good coaches to uh, convert us over from defense and outside linebacker. It's all about, you know, the technique, changing up the speed of it and everything, going from the defensive end to a linebacker, you know, it's almost kind of fitting. You know, you got the athletic talent and stuff like that, so it's a good little switch. What's been the most difficult part, the most difficult adjustment process for you to outside linebacker? I think the most uh, difficult process would be just, you know, getting the technique down so I can coach up the youth, you know, coaching the, uh, the new kids coming in, the freshmen and stuff like that, making sure I'm on my P's and Q's so I can also tease them the same thing. How does that? The natural athletic switch that you maybe had, how yeah. much do you think that's benefited you and your switch to outside linebacker? I think it uh, most of a bit me on the, on the speed aspect of, you know, coming in as a uh, smaller uh, D-lineman in the Big Ten was always, you know, a problem, stuff like that. Now I get to utilize my skills, you know, my strengths, you know, and they say focusing on the weaknesses while building the weaknesses and stuff like that. So I think outside linebacker would be a good fit for me. And then we're going to show some teams up on August 28th. How do you go about, I mean, it's a new position for you. What's the key in making sure you're able to correctly teach that to some of the younger guys as you're still – Kind of learning it yourself. I think uh, the biggest thing is to uh, understand football, you know, watching tape, understanding technique, listening, gathering information from all my coaches, and then from what my coaches teach me, coaching, uh, putting it back into the rookies. Does that help you learn it better when you teach it to someone else? It kind of, it, it really does help, type, because I know, like, if, if I know if I mess up on this, I'm going to have to show them, and what better way to show them than I can show them on the field, and we always go on the film and correct it on tape, so I can show them, like, okay, this is what you do right here, this is how you read and react. It almost becomes fluent to teach them on the field, on the fly, you know, but when you can sit in the fan room and really break it down to them, you know, from five years of knowledge of the football mm -hmm. game, it almost comes easy. What, what do you... How did today's scrimmage go in comparison to the last spring scrimmage that you guys were able to do? Uh, I think this scrimmage was better. So on the a team aspect of it, uh, the defense is coming along well. Everybody's playing as one. You know, everybody trusting everybody to do their job and stuff like that, playing off each other. I think it's a, a better defense overall. You know, we made a big jump from the spring. You know, we're going to keep making those jumps. What are you able to get out there for about 10, 15 minutes for practice? You know, are things really under wraps? How excited are you guys to kind of show off everything, you know, with this new system, new scheme, and, and what you thought? what you put in place here in a couple weeks? Yeah, I think everybody's just ready to show what they've been working hard with. You know, everybody's ready for August 28th, you know. Everybody's been putting in this work for almost a year and two years almost, you know. So I think everybody's ready for August 28th. What are your impressions of some of the younger guys in that room, Seth, Ezekiel, Shaman? How are they coming along? What do they bring to the table? I think everybody's coming along good, you know. Seth coming along, you know, speed and his weight up. Now he's at 240, you know. We got the rookies coming in, DJ and Marco. You know, they all got their own special talents, experience, and witnesses. We want to build off those. You know, when we on the field, you know, they get their reps. You know, we make sure we coaching them, being the, you know, the upperclassmen leader that we are, making sure they get their reps so they be ready to leave when we leave. Kind of a random one, but like last year at this time, everything was kind of locked down. Like for you guys, yeah. it was like home football. What's it like just to have a little bit more normalcy and be able to see people outside of a bubble again? I think it's better so more you can lock on football. You can almost focus on football. I think last year it was a lot going on with COVID and stuff like that. So now we can just be in a football facility, have a normal camp, you know, football all day. Like who doesn't love football, <laughs> you know? We can lock in, pick up on everything we need to pick on in the meeting room and just keep building every day, stacking days. Yeah. How much body transformation did you have to go into with a new position and all that with this summer? Was that, was that a big emphasis for the outside linebacker? Uh, it wasn't necessarily a big emphasis. We just made sure everybody worked hard. You know, if everybody's working hard to, you know, fix themselves, you know, agility, speed, quickness, power, you know, everybody's working on these things. And there's no drop off. You know, everybody's getting better. Thank you. Isaiah, what was, what was your relationship like with Coach Kane when you first got into the linebacker, outside linebacker room? And what is it like now? Uh, I think when uh, Coach Kane first got here, you know, we feeling me and everybody feel each other out and stuff like that. We getting a feel for him as a coach, getting a feel for me as a player, you know. We making sure we have that chemistry ready for when we go into the season, you know. And now we just like it's just he's just a close relationship, it's more so a family relationship now, you know. He expects a lot out of me, you know, and I expect the same out of him, you know. It's a give give, you know, iron sharp is iron, you know, we just keep stacking days, you know, as their relationship builds.